Today, we're going to talk about how to solve two-step equations in a couple of different ways, and this video is going to focus on using tape diagrams. Before we get into the example, we want to remind ourselves of what a tape diagram is and how we use it to solve equations. A tape diagram is a model that kind of help us, helps us to visualize equations. Um, it uses two rectangular rectangles, excuse me, like pieces of tape, and that's why we call them tape diagrams, and it helps us to calculate. And you've used them in the past, and you're going to continue to use them moving forward to just help us to see balances and equivalences of many different numbers. In this example, you have the bottom piece, which is representing the whole, and that is equal to 28. Then when you look at the top piece, it's broken into four sections, but each of those sections represents seven. And what happens when we add all those together, when we combine them? Well, seven plus seven plus seven plus seven equals 28. Now, let's see how we use this tape diagram to solve a two-step equation. So here's my two-step equation, 9 plus 4x equals 37. And remember, the goal is to isolate the variable. It's to figure out the unknown. What number represents x in this equation to make it true? One piece of my tape diagram is going to represent one side of my equal sign, very much like the one we just saw. I'm going to make the bottom piece represent 37. You don't have to, you can make the top piece. This is just my personal preference. Now the other piece of tape is going to represent the other side of our equation, which could be a little bit more tricky. Now if we recall, we have nine plus four X. And when we went ahead and talked about evaluating expressions, we learned that 4x is the same thing as x plus x plus x plus x, right? There's four x's there. So I basically need to break my top piece up into four pieces to represent each x and then one more piece to represent that nine. So that is what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. So I'm going to break this down into four and then one. So this is going to represent X, each of these. So there's my four X's and then here's my nine. So four X plus nine equals 37. Now, at this point, we need to start breaking this tape diagram down a little bit more. And what we know here, because it's tape diagrams, is if this piece on the top equals nine, then that means that this piece on the bottom is also nine. So if we know that that piece is nine, how do we figure out what the rest of this is? Well, we can subtract 37 minus nine. Now I'm going to draw a couple of more pieces of tape. I'm just going to make them a little bit neater and cleaner. Don't mind my sloppy lines here. And now I did not do anything with those four X's, so I'm just going to go ahead and redraw them, relabel them. But now that bottom piece no longer represents 37 because we took this piece away. So now 37 minus nine is the same thing as 28. So that's what we have left. But we're not done, right? Because the goal here is we're trying to isolate the variable. We're trying to figure out what does x equal? One x, just one of them. I have four here. So if I know that that bottom tape is equal to 28 and that top one is broken into four pieces, how am I going to figure out what each of those equal? If you're thinking division, you're absolutely correct. We want to break 28 up into four equal pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm trying to solve for one X. And when I break 28 up into four equal pieces, I get seven. So I know that one X or just X equals seven. 
Now, don't forget to go ahead and check your answer. Remember when we're checking our answer, we're plugging our variable, I'm sorry, the answer, the solution that we just found in for the variable. So we're plugging our x equals seven, so seven in for x in the equation, nine plus four times, don't forget that this represents multiplication, times seven equals 37. And then we're going to use our order of operations to solve four times seven is 28. Oh, where else do you see 28? And then nine plus 28 does in fact equal 37, which means our answer, our solution is correct.